That's old and undependable. It could break down, you'd be at the mercy of any maniac who came along. That's okay for Eric. <laughs> but you're taking a Toyota. Oh, and, uh, here's a 20. Oh. Will that cover gas? Oh, well, it should... Honey, honey, give her another 10, just in case. No, nope. I could probably use some gas money. Yeah, and if a frog had wings, he wouldn't bump his ass when he hops. <laughs> Well, just imagine, President Ford is coming here. Ah, <laughs> uh, Red, we need to get rid of the oil stains in the driveway. It's not like he's coming to our house, and if he did, I'd kick him in the keister. <laughs> Stop it. How can you say that? You voted for Gerald Ford. Kitty, no one voted for Gerald Ford. Sometimes a man's got to do what he thinks is right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call it a night. All right, son. Good night. Good night, Dad. Oh, and uh, next time, don't wear black socks. You look like an ass. <laughs> hey, how's that mopping coming along? Well, I'm just happy to be part of the Fatso Burger family. <laughs> you dumbass. Kids, break it up. Let's go. Whoa. Hey, you're adults. Damn right we're adults. I'm sorry, sir. My mistake. That's quite all right. We all make mistakes. Now, why don't you go bust some pot smoking teenagers before I give you a good adult size kick in the ass? <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your evening. Oh, Red. That was so sweet. <laughs> you let him off with a warning. Yeah. But you're not getting off that easy. Oh, Red! So what we do isn't really kissing? I thought you'd, you should know, considering that you and I have a thing. <laughs> right? Well, obviously we don't have a thing if you're running around kissing slutty girls, right? Okay, you're mad. <laughs> mad? No. Why should I be mad? I mean, in fact, you can kiss whatever you want. Start with your own butt. <laughs> now, Donna just came through here looking very upset. Would you have any idea what that's about? I have no idea. She seemed fine when we... Um, you already know. Of Donna. course I know. <laughs> Donna is such a sweet kid. How could you do this to her? I don't know. You know, it seems like bad things are always happening to me. Like I have bad luck or something. <laughs> Son, you don't have bad luck. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> Actually, she said it was a shame she couldn't spend what might be her last Thanksgiving with her family. But she does hope we all enjoy ourselves. Well, you know what? That's just fine. <laughs> I don't need to kiss some old lady's ASS on my holiday. <laughs> you heard what I spelled. What do you want me to say? I already apologized. You, you just want to forget about us because I kissed some girl? Why'd you do it? Well, I have it on pretty good authority that I'm a dumbass. <laughs> so you liked it? Yeah. I liked it. No would have been a better answer. Donna. Look. That kiss was great. And if I could take it back, I would. Because it's not worth ruining what you and I have. Eric, you are a dumbass. So is that like, I forgive you, dumbass? Or, um, 
Um, get out of my house, you dumbass. I'm also the first one. My, that's a lovely blender. This is stupid. Red. <laughs> well, it's got uh, stainless steel rotor blades, so it can crush ice, which is why I keep it out here at the bar. Um, and it has the highest wattage that you can get without moving up to the industrial model, which would cost you twice as much. Well, now, see, we have had this blender all these years, and I never knew that's why we bought it. You didn't know that? How could you not know that? Well, Brad, everybody doesn't research every product before they buy it. Well, then they're dumbasses. Well, that's right. And that's why they need you to tell them what to buy. Oh, I am kicking your ass! Because you don't want me back out here. I may be a figment of your imagination. I'm still freezing my ass off. I tell you, Kitty, the world is a tough place. You drop your guard for one second, and it'll kick you right in the ass. Well, you're right. Red, the world is hard. So, wouldn't it be nice if Eric came home to a place that wasn't? All right, Kitty. When you win the lottery, you can buy him Disneyland. Holy smokes, I think he did it. Congratulations, man. Plus, you did it in record time. Yeah, you think? <laughs> no, you moron. You've been kissing her ass for over a year. It's five bucks, a nickel a book. Uh, big deal, I'm out of quarter. It's not about the money, son. It's about the rules. And without rules, we might as well all be up in a tree flinging our crap at each other. <laughs> uh, okay. It closes in a half an hour, so get your ass over there. I'm not even fighters. I mean, it's all tricks. I could get up there right now. Oh, damn! He dropped that guy right on his head. Yeah. So let me see. Go ahead. Show your mother. <laughs> That is snazzy. That is a snazzy jacket. Damn good thing I went with him. He wanted to buy a leisure suit. <laughs> oh, come on, Dad. Leisure suits are cool. Everybody wears them. Leisure suits are for dumbasses. Believe me. You know, your mom does the work of five nurses. This place would fall apart without her. And she's so funny. Oh, yeah, she is. Um, wait, no, she's not. Oh, yeah. And she draws these funny cartoons. See? Now, I warn you, it's a little racy, but... Oh, honey, you don't need to see that. It's just, um, a certain body part has been shoved up another body part for comic effect. So, um, have you met everybody? Nurse Foreman, I just talked to the lab. Why didn't you bring down that blood sample? Because you didn't give it to me? <laughs> I most certainly did. Well, the next time I have something to give you, you tell me. Will do. What is his problem? Well, you all know my theory. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mrs. Gross, Edna. No, 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 honey. It's Miss Gross, Edna. You see, Mr. Gross Edna ran off with Miss Perfect Ass. I suppose I should have just become a nun when your father walked out on me. Hell, he must have been crazy to leave all this. Always a smart ass, Stephen, just like your father. You know what? One thing he did do right, he left. Guess who's taking Pam Macy to the prom? Anyone with a quarter? <laughs> me! <laughs> Damn, and I had a quarter. Oh, so you're not taking Jackie? No way, man. Jackie, don't. Hey, I can take Jackie. Yeah, do it, Fez, and I'll kick your ass. I told Milbank's son David to come by to see you. David Milbank? Dad, I hated that guy. Yeah, well, I hate his dad, but... I smile like hell whenever I see him. And you'll do the same. Got it? Got it. <laughs> Even Milbank? Oh, barks. Eric, remember when you beat him up on the playground? <laughs> yep, I kicked his ass. <laughs>
wasn't he the kid's scoliosis and asthma? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I kicked his ass. Now remember, a Jedi is his own master. His own master. His own master. A Jedi's power lies within his own mind. Are you even listening to me? What? Yes. Um, you were saying, may the Force be with me? No, I did not. Jedi Knight. <laughs> Jedi dumbass. Don is mad at me. And the plant's closing. Dad's out of a job. Oh, wow. Guess this is a bad time to tell him I flunked out of college. You know what, Lori? I cannot believe that you're the favorite. Yeah. Doesn't it kick ass? No offense, but you sound like a chick. <laughs> Man, I do! Okay, all right. Do you remember that time when I was climbing your fence and I hit my forehead on that tree branch and I fell into your yard and your dog Yogi came out of the house and bit me twice on the ass? <laughs> yeah. Your father and I have noticed that you've been acting very strange lately. Like a hippie. Is there something you want to tell us? Are you on dope? Are you? Because, because we can help get you clean. There's counseling, hospitalization. My foot kicking your ass. We don't think that you should go. New York is a dangerous place. A young man today needs a high school diploma. In New York, you get mugged for no good reason. Do you have any idea what the job market is like? The people are rude. And you have feelings. Without that sheepskin, you are nothing. And not the kind of nothing that you are now. And even lower, more pathetic nothing. They spit. That's right, they spit. What are you going to put on your resume? Dumbass. How did your brother take the news? Oh, you know, Marty, he's talking about his feelings, and then he started bawling, so I hung up on him. <laughs> I'm not paying long-distance rates to listen to that crap. Marty is so in touch with his feelings. It's like he's completely self-actualized. He's a dumbass. Eric, I thought I told you to wash up for dinner. I know it's difficult to hear with your head up your ass. <laughs> Get a move on. Well, I suppose we could call social services. Yeah, see, now that's sensible. Yeah, they'll know what to do. Yes. You know, after all, they take thousands of cases every year. <laughs> So many, in fact, that they have to house them in gymnasiums. Kitty! With no heat. Damn it! I am tired of being Santa Claus! <laughs> Steven, you get your together and you get your ass in the damn car. We're going! just the sweetest man alive. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Foreman. Thanks, <laughs> <Nice> Mom. <laughs> You're lucky I don't kick your ass. I'm opening another hot tub store right here in Point Place. I'm telling you, pal, you've always got a job with me if you want. <clears throat> I don't know, though, Bull, you know. Uh, this thing's pretty hot. <laughs> Ooh. That jet just hit me right in the keister. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, some people like that. Red and Kitty aren't even here. I mean, you're kissing Phantom Butt. <laughs> you know what, Foreman? I used to think Red was a real hard ass. Why would you drop a bowling ball on the couch? 
What good could come of it? Well, okay, hindsight being Eric, what it is, I get... <clears throat> I don't want to hear any more of your dumbass excuses. This is the most irresponsible, idiotic thing you have ever done. Mom, crazy Helen from across the street is switching price tags, and Dad says he's going to kick her in the keister. Oh, no. He'll do it, too. <laughs> I can't believe you'd rather stay here than go see a movie with me. Oh, believe me, Donna, I'd love to go, but Red said I can't, and... Well, he can kick my ass, so. <laughs> Eric, I can kick your ass. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sweet Kelso. You're a tool, and I will use you when I please. Okay, baby? Okay. Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetie. Oh, Kelso. You watch your ass. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to be a father. <laughs> hey, Red, great news. I found a way to drink beer faster. Come on! Go home, Frank. I'm busy. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think you're maturing. Well, you know, the truth is, Frank's getting on my nerves a little bit. I mean, he's, he's kind of, he's kind he's an ass. Yeah. And he's dumb. He's a dumbass. But I'm not going to tell on him, because then I'd be a rat. <laughs> and that's what Foreman would have been if he had told you. He still should have told me. Give him a break, Donna. I mean, the guy kisses your ass. He does everything for you, and you're not even sleeping with him. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. You're lucky he even talks to you. In fact, I would have dumped you months ago, but, you know, I'm old-fashioned, so. Like, I want to kick their asses, but I can't. I swear, I'm gonna kick so much ass! You're kind of a... You're an ass. You were suspended? Yes, sir. For smoking. <laughs> well, we can't have a loser like you at our school. I'm sorry to say you're not Princeton material, dumbass! Hey, I heard Eric got suspended. Yeah, and we're all real proud. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Red. I think Donna's been having trouble because Eric's a bad influence. Could be. But did you ever think the way you and Midge act like idiots, that might be screwing her up? Nope, I'm pretty sure it's Eric. Well, that's kind of stupid, Bob. Well, I guess the truth hurts. So does a swift kick in the ass. All right, I'm going. But a swift kick in the ass is not the solution to everything, Foreman. I gotta disagree, Bob. <laughs> Gee, Dad, thanks for... Keep sweeping, smoker. Brother. Oh, Dad, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. I'm sorry I made you smoke all those cigarettes. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Actually... I kind of like them. Watch it. No, no, I bet they go great with beer. So does a swift kick in the ass. Damn kids today, they wouldn't know responsibility if it walked up and bit them in the ass. Dumbass, no, man. <clears throat> Maybe I have been, uh, kind of, uh... A dumbass. I was going to say unreasonable. Fine, fine. You're an unreasonable dumbass. Are you done now? I think I am. Either way, she'll fall on her ass. Don't freak out, but if I see a deer on the side of the road, I'm gonna shoot him. Toto, you fire that gun in this car, and I will pull over and kick your ass for an hour. Do it, man, do it. Come on, Foreman, would you get that gun away from him? No, I want to hold it. I killed the bear once. Your ass. 
Well, that was a long time ago. I was out uh, hunting with Frank. He was a good friend of mine. The good guy. Kind of a dumbass like uh, Kelso here. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> Frank had shot this deer. And he was real happy. And he'd had a few beers, so he was dancing around. And it was all real fun. And then he leans over to kiss the deer. Only the deer's not dead yet, and it kicks him right in the neck. And it killed him. Eric, if this is one of your dumbass friends, you better start running. Please don't be kissing. I mean, I want to keep the job, but I really don't want to wear my ass for a hat. Because, you know, he said he could do that, and I believe him. You're going to look real funny when you're wearing your, your ass, ass for a hat. For a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I doubt that's physically possible. Let's find out together. Well, I'm sorry, you're a dumbass. Very cool. Good night, Mom. Well, what'd he do? <laughs> I swear, I'll kick his ass. No, he was just... He was absolutely wonderful. Oh. <clears throat> okay. You want to go through life doing everything half-assed, that's your decision, sir. I'm always going to need you. Because chances are... Dad's going to be riding my ass for the rest of my life. You know, it's amazing how you always manage to pull the car right up to the garage, but not actually into it. <laughs> yep. It takes a keen eye and a sure foot. How would you like your keen eye to watch my sure foot kick your smart ass? Why don't I pull the car in? And don't get all Archie Bunkery on me or I will kick your ass to the moon! Hey there, oh there, hi there, coming through. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. What can I do? They went to church. Here's 20. Can you find us a place up front? All right, that's it. I'm kicking Bob's ass. Red! Oh, Kitty, we're going to hell anyway. Yeah, but God didn't see that. I was in my van, and he can't see through lead. I don't want to get into a religious argument, but my God can kick your God's ass. Eric, if you don't want to wear your ass for a hat, you'll get up here pronto. Better go. You know how that ass hat screws up your hair. Eric, bend your knees and lift with your legs, or else I'm gonna kick my ass, put your foot in my ass, make my ass a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. And I didn't think you were listening. So, I mean, Earl's like a dumbass lightning rod. Yep. Eric's really busting his hump down there. You're fired. What? What did I do? <laughs> Did you do? I'll tell you what you did. You boobin! You mammoth! You got a boobin! Without Earl, I'm back to dumbass. Stand up straight. You're a dumbass. You call this a report card? Hands above the covers. You kicked her ass, man. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Isn't there anything else you would like to say to this brave and noble young man? You're right, Kitty. Dumbass! <laughs> Do you realize that you put your entire future at risk? Oh, my what God. kind of a moron would go and take the fall for some little oh. crying and crying and crying? And when she's and upset, the next thing you I'm know. upset. I had to have tea with that greasy old hippie. And now I have hippie stink on my couch. Something else. If you ever.
do anything like that again, I will kick your ass so hard, your nose will bleed. No. <laughs> Dumbasses. I didn't know you delivered. <laughs> Bed check, dumbass. Holy crap. <laughs> Look all these different nuts intermingling in one bowl. It's like nut stock, man. Kitty, I think we should rethink our don't throw Leo out on his ass policy. So, you were running around chasing him on the roof because he took your little rubber ball. That no, wasn't a ball. It was a super ball. Yeah, you should see that thing bounce. It's pretty super. Dumbasses. Riddle me this, Riddler. When Batman skips from the clam of death, who will kick your riddle-telling ass in? Earl, he didn't do his job. He was always late. He was a complete dumbass. Now, Mr. Foreman, at any point, did you ever berate Earl Arthur by calling him any of the following names? Candy ass. Dumbass. Lazy ass. Uh, it just goes on like that. Just answer the question, dumbass! I mean, <laughs> good work, son. Bastard. Hey there, Donna, where are you going? To the hot to kick Eric's ass. Yeah, well, kick it good. And you and Red are going down. And you know what else? I was wrong, Eric. Red's not a jerk. He's an ass, and you're an ass, because the ass doesn't fall far from the ass tree. What, say what, what? Now clean up all this crap, take the trash out, and eat a banana, dumbass. So, where is everyone? Boy, you can hardly tell where your head was crushed. <laughs> where are all my friends? You don't really have any friends, Red. <laughs> you know, it's it's an unfortunate side effect of of telling everybody to to stick it up their butts. Uh, gee, I guess you're right, Kitty. Maybe I should have been nicer everybody thanks for being here and i just want to say when my time comes i want to be buried face down so that anyone who doesn't like me can kiss my ass Eric! <laughs> oh hey dad sorry <laughs> didn't see you there well, I guess that's because you were too busy making an ass of yourself. Good for you, you dumb bastard. When I was your age, I, I thought I had it all, too. Great job at the plant. Nice, steady paycheck. Just enough to, you know, string me along for 30 years or so. And for what? So they could toss me out on my ass when things got tough. We are on a dine and dash here. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the only thing better than eating lobster is eating lobster and hauling ass. Kiss me. Well, I'm not about to argue with Candy. Fez? Is there one in there that says, get a room? No, but here's one that says, kiss my brown ass. Why doesn't Eric understand that when I said I'm fine, I meant I will be fine? So long as he kisses my ass for two weeks. <laughs> Until I'm actually fine. Will Michael's parents be home? Yes. Are they as dumb as he is? I can't lie, yes. Yes, they are. Right answer. That was a trick question. I know they're dumb. So, I can go? You can go. But I'll be watching the news. And if anything is vandalized, or explodes, or catches on fire. X is gonna equal me kicking your ass. What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what are you doing here? Oh my God, who are you with? Your mother, you dumbass. Okay, I'm gonna make a deal with you. I never saw you, I don't know you're here. Wait, so we're good? No, no, you're getting your ass kicked on Monday. Well, you know I love my family. It's just sometimes I want to get in the car and run them all over. 
They forgot my birthday. I'm gonna go kick Eric's ass right now. No. <laughs> okay, you guys, we gotta think about a way to get out of here. Okay, guys, just got through every escape from prison movie I could think of, and I came up with something. What? Steve McQueen is a total badass. <laughs> okay, thanks, Hyde. That's not helping. If we don't get out of here, a bunch of jocks are gonna come in here and kick our asses. Yeah, the wife and I were taking out a second mortgage on the house. Well, that's not the funny part, because we're pretty much destitute. It's a little bit funny, Bob. Anyways, I'm looking at the deed to the property, and the map shows that I own a couple feet of your driveway and a little bit of your garage. How'd you like to own a little bit of my foot in your ass? I wouldn't, to be quite honest. It's free. Why are you trying to make us fight? Because I've got today in the pool. Now, come on, Jackie, hit him. Oh, my God, I get it. The pool wasn't about Steven's toenails. These idiots bet on when you and I would fight. Kelso, are you going to take that man? She called your friends idiots. You better start kicking some ass. You have a little yellow bird on your ass. Okay, here comes Kelso. Oh, this is going to be so good. But plug your nose, because it's also going to be foul. <laughs> All right, somebody put a stink bomb in my backpack. Oh. <laughs> and when I find out who, I'm gonna kick some ass. You doing the rest of the farm reports? Oh, I thought we were doing the movies. Well, Janice called him sick, so... Why do you smell like butt? <laughs> that is none of your business, okay? <laughs> You bumped into my butt and fell down, and that's how we met? I'm afraid so. Eric, I thought I told you to tar the driveway. Yeah, but I'm hanging out with my friends. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll get your ass up there and get to work. I wrote you a love poem, Pam. It goes like this. I love your rack. I'd love to shack. Up with you and do it too. Michael, that is so deep. Yeah, I kicked that poem's ass. Ow! Oh, Jake, honey, honey, be nice to your big brother. He's not strong like you. Brother? What the hell? Well, your parents finally had the son they always wanted. Now, son, what do we call Eric? Dumbass! <laughs> There's my boy! We figured Eric could use some fun, you know, since he and Donna broke up. What? Broke up? Yeah, I heard Donna dumped his ass. <laughs> Which brings me to my second point. When used separately, women and alcohol can be a lot of fun. But if you mix them, they can turn you into a dumbass. Ring, finger, finger, ring. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't shove the ring up your ass. Mom. Oh, Bob, you poor, dumb son of a... Bitch. Eric, stop it. You're being an ass. Well, why don't you just, you know, get over it. Ah, Red. Bob warned me you can be a pain in the ass. And Foreman has a vindictive ass. <laughs> Wrote his story to be a vindictive ass. What am I supposed to do about it? Well, you better do something. <laughs> you know what girls talk about when they get together. Um, sugar and spice and everything nice? <laughs> That's what we're made of, you dumbass. Stacy. I'm sorry, Mr. Foreman. It's just that he's such a dumbass. <laughs> Candiotti just told me to shove a very holy book in a very unholy place. Fine. Bob, your decorations are in the dumpster behind the liquor store. <laughs> Thanks, Red. If I had missile though, I'd kiss you. Yeah, well, if I had missile foot, it'd be in your ass. <laughs> like for Christmas? No more talk about you putting your foot in other people's rear ends. 
Maybe next year, Kitty. <laughs> no, but what am I supposed to do? Uh, all my friends are gonna think that I'm a baby if I keep watching your shows. Oh, screw those dumbasses! Hey, Lego my ego. <laughs> hey, Lego my foot in your ass. <laughs> New foreign guy, Uno. Old foreign guy, Nada. <laughs> this is outrageous. The closest I have come to sex was when the football team put me down in the shower and made me kiss my own ass. Hey, guys. Think about getting a perm. Hey, can I get the number of your guy? I don't have a guy, dumbass. This righteous moss is a gift from God. Don't, Eric! Don't! No, I was... Eric! Step away from your cousin. No, she's not my cousin. She was adopted. I'm not adopted. What? She's, she's lying. Eric, I saw her mother give birth to her. Now, what is going on? I'm... sleepwalking. And I'm about to be sleep-kicking your ass. Tornado passed through. Is heading to Illinois. Kiss my ass, Chicago. Poor Red losing again. Well, we have this large housing development that I like to call Joanne Land. Where's Red Land? I'll tell you where it is. It's right wait, up here. Wait, your... wait, wait. This just in. The National Weather Service has canceled the tornado warning. <laughs> so long, dumbass! <laughs> so, when my dad saw that I had broken the TV with the bowling ball, I said, You fix it, dumbass! Who is it, Rad? Listen, Hophead. I love that woman with a fiery passion that consumes my soul. That's right. So you can either walk out of here on your own, or you can hop out of here with my boot in your ass. Okay, I choose the one with nothing in my ass. Good choice. That cheese guy's lucky he's a little fella. I'd kick his ass. Just go! Right in the ass! You gotta kick his ass. Your ass is mine, Cheese Puff. How did you know my nickname? Wait, your nickname's Cheese Puff? Stay focused, kick his ass. Wait, good. Yeah. What do you think you're doing kissing my girlfriend, huh? Your brownies for the new neighbors, Eric? Yes, Mommy. How do I look? Well, you got a little something right. Don't touch it. I had to sleep sitting up to keep it like this. Well, I just hope these new neighbors are better than the last one. That Gus Griffin was a complete dumbass. Hey, man, if you don't get caught, everything's legal. <laughs> Stolen pretzel. Guys, this conversation is over. Yesterday, Samantha went back in time. That trumps anything Jeannie ever did. Oh, yeah? Well... Jeannie can freeze time. So Samantha would go back and Jeannie could just freeze her there. Who kicked whose ass then? Kelso, you're supposed to come in through the side door. Huh? Eric, I need you to take out the... <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Eric did it because he hates you. <laughs> I... Foreman, every man for himself. No, uh, Dad, this was just a prank that's gone wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. Well, I have a prank, too. One where my foot doesn't plow through your ass. Let's hope it doesn't go horribly, horribly wrong. I can't even think of a punishment big enough for this. But trust me. It's going to be awful. The kind of thing that Harry Truman might order to end a war. Guys, 
Who's Harry Truman? You invented electricity, dumbass. I still don't see why we have to spend the night. It only took me 30 minutes to get caught up with everyone at my high school reunion. Oh, well, standing in the corner muttering dumbass at everyone doesn't count as getting caught up. I'm red, dumbass. <laughs> Where are my muffins, dumbass? <laughs> Who is it, dumbass? Oh, Stephen likes birthdays, he just doesn't know it. Which is why we're throwing him a surprise party. Now, I need two helpers with keen feminine sensibilities to help decorate. Jackie, it fizz. <laughs> Put it on. Do I have to? You bet your ass. Yeah, Steven. Hit the jackass. <laughs> okay, kids, it's nighty night time. Good night, Mom. Night, Ma. That's my mama. I love you, Fez. I love you more. I love you the most. Daddy. All right, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs put their foot in your ass. If you make her cry, I'm coming right back here to kick your ass. Well, kicking Casey's butt is the same as babbling at him from a safe distance, and boy, did I do it. And then I told Donna she was grounded, and she said no. She said no? Can you do that? No. I need your help, Red. I gotta get Donna away from that guy. Oh, Dad, you know what's good? Threaten her with the old... Foot in the ass. Look, your mom left. Come on, you're, you're allowed to freak out. Everybody warned me about Casey, and I fell for him anyway. And he's such a jackass. Let me get this straight. Donna wanted to get back together, and you said no. I said no. You said no. <laughs> Isn't it a little early for you to be hopped up? Empty your pockets. Now. Get the hell out of my pants! Got it! What the hell is wrong with him? He has low self-esteem because you are too domineering. Fred, you're gonna let Foreman get away with that, man? He just felt you up. Where's the foot in the ass? Unless you're getting too old. Shut it. Kelso, what the hell are you doing? Winning! Where's Eric? Where's Eric? Where are you, man, and who wants to know? The U.S. government, that's who. Like I read by 1984, the government will have tracking devices on all of us. And after that, they're gonna jam electrodes in our brains so they can read our memories. Damn, U.S. government. Damn, U.S. government? Without our government, you'd be stuck in Siberia now, sucking the juice from a rotten commie potato. Let me tell you something. If the U.S. government decides to stick a tracking device up your ass, you say thank you. Bless America! <laughs> of all the dumbass stunts you kids ever pulled, this little California adventure takes the dumbass cake. Ew! You mind not getting all gooey and romantic when I'm about to eat my breakfast? I crawled up your butt. <laughs> you and Jackie. <laughs> then 
then you started making out in there. Hey, no more butt talk at breakfast. Anywho, the boy's sexual organ. Hey! <laughs> Shut it, dumbass. I mean, have you tried telling him you just like him as a friend? <laughs> You're carrying Red's baby. He should be kissing your ass. God, why are men such jerks? Jackie wanted to get married, so you bailed. So she found someone else, so now she doesn't want to marry you. This solves your problem, albeit with an unpleasant twist ending. No, I don't care. I'm kicking Hines' ass. Oh, calcium, calcium. Come on, you couldn't open my kitchen door. I mean, <laughs> seriously. Think about how this plan usually turns out. Idiots. I am about to sell something special to me because we're having another baby. And to do that, I have to believe that this child won't turn out a smart ass. I get off! I tell you, calm down. Ah, a wet one. Fess, I'm gonna get free eventually, and then I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh no, alien zombies are attacking the Earth. Let's swing into action, gang. Hang on a second. We're still on this ring. Are you sure it's not an evil alien artifact? I got it at the mall. Greetings, super dumbasses. Oh no, it's Dr. Ball. Any minute now, my army of alien zombies will be invade. Good lord, that is an ugly ring. You know what? We'll just go with you. I mean, if it's a better school, then I belong there too, right, Dad? No. <laughs> State schools are cheap. That's where you belong. Well, what if, like, you took out a second mortgage on the house? <laughs> <laughs> Not for you, dumbass. Man, she said she wouldn't do anything. Yeah, but I bet if she did, you'd cry because you love her. If you don't shut up, you're gonna be the first person to touch his chin to his ass. Who be spying on me? So, Eric, how's school treating you? You managing to uh, keep from embarrassing yourself? Yeah. Oh, sure. I've, I've been buckling down, just like you said, and thinking a little bit more about my future, which I believe you also recommended. <laughs> well, it's good to know that 17 years of kicking your ass has finally paid off. <laughs> Well, maybe he'll understand this. From now on, every time you disobey me or lie to me or do anything that pisses me off, you're going to pay me money. Pay you? Wait, you're fining me? It's like giving him tickets for being dumb. Okay, okay, I, I think we're forgetting about a time-tested punishment here. There's your foot. Here's my ass. Swing away. Well, it obviously doesn't work. Well, another Thanksgiving come and gone. Certainly an eventful day, huh? Yeah. What with our ungrateful daughter, that dumbass son? <laughs> and a drunk foreign kid, I'd say... Actually, it's a little better than last year. The SATs are in. Don, did you, did you see your scores yet? Yeah, this morning. I got a 12.30. What? A 12.30? That's great. Why don't you say something? Well... I didn't want to brag. I mean, yeah, I kicked ass, but it's no big deal. Maybe I'm not smart. Who says you're not smart? You. <laughs> when? Always. <laughs> your problem is you got your head up your ass. Donna does gum up the works. <laughs> See? Now use what little brains you've got and hit the books, dumbass. I just found out I can take the SATs again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it again, and I'm gonna nail it. I just gotta buckle down. I'm gonna kick a little SAT butt. So just butt the hell out. No, no, Stephen, I won't butt out because you need to be pushed, and we need to think about our future. I'll take a dummy over a jackass any day. So, am I a dummy or a jackass? Well, honey, right now you're both. I'm a jackass, and I know it. Well, I know it too. Where's your drink? What about my drink? Next time you ask where your drink is, it will be in your ass. I'm not going to the party. Fine. Michael, I would love to go to the party with you. Check your ass! I love parties! 
Okay, let's try another card. Um, if you could be anyone's shoe, whose shoe would you be? Well, I wouldn't want to be red shoe because I think it's about to go on someone's ass. This is great. No broads, just us guys. We can really get to know each other. Fez, you try and lure me in the hot tub and I'm kicking your ass. You can't see it, but I'm flipping you off right now. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, just a classic case of hand stuck in vase. <laughs> well, get it off. Or you'll have a classic case of foot stuck in ass. <laughs> no, I just want to buck our boy up, because what happened to him was so embarrassing. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to kick your ass. Come and hold my... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Okay, I shouldn't have told you I was at Fez's. <sighs> Do you ever think about what you're doing with your life? Hey, Dad, it's my life, okay? I'm grown up now. Grown up? Well, you sure say that a lot, so it must be true. Let me try it. Hey, everybody. I'm Mr. Rogers. <laughs> But wait, I'm not wearing a sweater. <laughs> and I'm about to kick your ass. This time, Red is really going to kill me. My only hope is that he actually sticks his foot so far up my ass. <laughs> he can't pull it out, and I get to take him straight to hell with me. You know what, Donna? You're right. You and Eric are perfect for each other. Really? Yes. You're as big a dumbass as he is. <laughs> Okay, where's Red? I just found out he called my daughter a dumbass. What? Well, I really thought I was getting through to him. But then he snuck a dumbass in. <laughs> that is a hurtful word. You're the dumbass! So, I guess this is the way an immature, engaged high school dumbass with no car, no job, and no money trims the hedges. That was like eight burns in one sentence. An octoburn. Comrade Foreman. It's my son, Eric. You can call him dumbass. <laughs> All right, Dad, they have a catchphrase. Hey, what's ours? Shut up, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, dumbass. Okay, yeah. All you had to do was build a cabin out of Lincoln Logs. <laughs> well, I thought I'd score some extra points by building the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> the Millennium what? If that's a Star Wars thing, I'm gonna kick you in the ass. So, how's the day going? Well, let's see. I interviewed 15 potential employees. Ten dumbasses, <laughs> four Cretans, and a mama's boy. Okay, let's do this. Look at them. Bare-assed and holding a plastic bat. That's your son, Kitty. Probably the same reason I won't let you meet my parents. <laughs> She's afraid you're going to say something weird and embarrass her. Oh, please. I'm a hard-looking, smooth-talking, frisky-ass son of a bitch. Yeah, but, Jack, your dad's in prison, and your mom... Well, I'm sorry, Donna, but you're just not popular enough for me to live with. Oh. <sighs> I'm not popular enough? I was doing you a favor because I felt bad for you. Well, don't, okay? I don't need to be a good D for the day. Fine. There's the door. Don't let it hit your popular little butt on the way out. You know, it occurs to me that since I paid the allowance that bought those records in the first place, that money's mine. Well, it occurs to me that possession is nine-tenths of the law. Keep up with a smart mouth, and my foot will be nine-tenths of the way up your ass. <laughs> you know, Foreman, you should write a book. Things my father threatened to put in my ass. Chapter one, his foot. I'd buy that. Next week? Wow, that's, that's really soon. Yeah, I, well, sooner than we thought. We were thinking, like, someday. Yeah, yeah, someday. That's good. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, what's the matter? I mean, uh, getting engaged is a silly, fun thing to do, but now that we're talking about an actual wedding, you're turning into a couple of dumbass kids who aren't ready? <laughs> Because, I mean, if you're not ready, I mean, heck, I got myself all excited for nothing. I cheated on Jackie because she cheated on me with you. Which reminds me, I had to kick your ass. Well, I, I, we weren't doing anything. I already told you. Well, Jackie was comforting me because I was upset because Fez had a sex dream about me. Gal, so what are you writing? Michael plus Jackie. I'm kicking your ass. Uh, <laughs> you can't kick my ass from down there. All you can do is punch my ass. Hey, get out! <laughs> Just face the fact, Hyde. You're down there, and I'm up here, and I am invincible. I bought sparklers for the 4th of July. He loves sparklers, and now he's leaving, and what are we going to do for the 4th of July? Uh, there's a car show in Kenosha. A car show? I don't want to go to a car show in Kenosha. I want three more months with my baby boy. And now they're gone. Just because there's a sale at Penny's doesn't mean you gotta buy everything. Hey, Fez, you're supposed to bring your date home, then take her pants off. <laughs> Fellas, I'm afraid your little jokes don't bother me because soon I will be starting my new life in Madison, where, if I so choose, I can wear ladies' clothes all I want. Really? Where is this Madison? So I can go there and kick their dress wearing asses. Kelso, would you get out of here? What? I'm helping. You're making me want to kick your ass. <laughs> that better be the rash talking. <laughs> All right, sleep tight, buddy. <laughs> Happy birthday, dumbass. That's my daddy's chair. It's my daddy's chair. Fess, look, man, you gotta start kissing Red's butt a little, or he's gonna make sure you get deported. He should be kissing my butt for taking his trashy daughter off his hands. Wow, you really are pregnant. Uh, it makes them really tiny now. Or to pound my ass. I wish there was something I can do to make you feel better. Well, there isn't. Okay, fine. I'll give you 10 seconds to squeeze my ass as much as you want. I never thought I'd say this, but there's some things that a girl's ass can't fix. What did I tell you last week? Don't cry in your kitchen. <laughs> and I didn't mean just that day, I meant always. I better go then. <laughs> nice going, Akash J. Akash J? Oh, jackass. <laughs> well, honey, I don't think you're a jackass. I think you're a jack angel. <laughs> hey, Mom, look, I know you're worried about money with Dad not being able to work, but I want you to know I'm going to get right back out there and get a, a better job, a high paying job. Well, sure. Just go down to the Bureau of High-Paying Jobs. <laughs> you can't miss it. It's right next to the pie-in-the-sky office. <laughs> Jackass. Welcome to the exclusive ranks of waiter at a crappy hotel restaurant. <laughs> I can't believe that I did it. Yeah. I can't believe the glue held. <laughs> yeah, super glue kicks ass. You know what, Kelso? Your first shift is not gonna go well. Oh, it's gonna be a disaster. I have to say, I thought you'd be too embarrassed to show your face here tonight. Well, to be honest, I only came to see your outfit. So I'd know what not to wear. <laughs> well, let me show you the back. <laughs> ho, ho. You left out a ho, Red. It's three hoes. Did you even read the Santa manual? Okay, Red, I'm sure you'll do fine. Remember, Santa is a, a cheerful, jolly fellow who never calls a child dumbass. That sneaky bastard. 
up. That sneaky bastard Santa Claus is on his way with a nonstop block of classic Christmas tunes. <laughs> and remember, you're listening to WFPP with me, Hot Don. <laughs> you hear that, Eric Foreman? That's not bacon. That's your ass when I get a hold of you. Bob, what the hell are you doing? You're depressing the kids. I'm Santa now. Get out of my chair, Bob. Or you're gonna get a candy cane up your chimney. This mall is only big enough for one Santa, Bob. Tell you what, you name five reindeer and I'll step down. I can name five toes that are gonna be in your ass. Oh, for goodness sake. Why don't we just stop calling it Christmas and call it Asmus? What the hell are you doing? Uh, you told me you were working. I brought you brownies because you told me you were working your ass off. And now it turns out that you're spending all the time we could have spent together with the guys. And I gave you daytime sex. So are you still mad at me? Well, it's kind of hard when you keep agreeing with me. I agree. Stop it. You're beautiful. I will <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> Still not speaking to me, huh? Fine, I'll speak. I spend all day running your bald, grumpy ass around town. And do I get a thanks? No. Because you're unpleasant. Guys, everything is totally cool. I promise to stop acting like such an ass and give Donna only presents, not cash. Here, take your radio. Cool, we just get our own walkie talkies. <laughs> uh, I'd like a pepperoni pizza, a dress, hauling ass down central. Get under the sink and loosen that disposal so we can get to the pipes. Under there? <laughs> but it, it, it's all spidery. Get under there, you're gonna get a spider the size of my foot in your ass. <laughs> I just realized something. After all the years of me helping you fix stuff, you finally have to hold the flashlight for me. <laughs> Lower, dumbass! So I told Hyde he could watch what Jackie and I do it. <laughs> and then he beat my ass with a twinkle light. I'm gonna take Red's car. I know he's got a hide key in there somewhere. Are you brain damaged? <laughs> Fez, did you just say, are you brain damaged and sound exactly like Red? Also, you know I only do Johnny Carson and Pepe Le Pew. Get away from my car. Your car, my car. Aren't we all just driving the same car? This car called life. How about I drive my foot into this thing called your ass? A simple no would suffice. Yeah, he's obviously the dumb one of your group. Oh, hey. What took you guys so long at the heart doctors? Oh, let me guess. You had to call in a specialist just to find Dad's tiny heart. <laughs> you know, we could call in a specialist to find my foot in your ass. <laughs> We're gonna need an ass footologist, stat. Look, there's one last exercise I want to try. Role playing. All right. Cool. All right, now. You're going to be Eric. Eric, you're going to be your father. Mr. Foreman, you can start. Well, I'm just a skinny, smart mouth kid who always has something to say about everything. And I wish I was an octopus. So I could put eight feet in eight different asses. <laughs> I believe the source of your husband's stress is... Oh, here it comes. Your son. Him? Me? It's not me! Oh, boy! <laughs> you think my problem is my own son? My son is a fine young man. Oh, Dad, you don't... Shut have... up, dumbass. 
Okay, we'll move the wedding to next month, and then nine months later, we'll tell people the baby came early because you smoked. <laughs> no, I don't want to move the wedding up. Don't we get a say in this? Red, say something. Oh. <laughs> Donna, he's not going to help us. Right now, he's trying to figure out how to get both of his feet and both of our asses without leaving his chair. Well, stop being weird. Well, what a relief. But you and I are still having a good long talk about the uterus. <laughs> Man, dodged a bullet there, huh? <laughs> Almost had a little, little dumbass running around here, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna go throw up now. You know, you have been awfully calm about this whole thing. You haven't threatened to put a foot in anyone's rear all day. Okay, I know this seems really bad, but I got a really simple way to fix this. Just start going to a different church. <laughs> hey, how about that one where they sing more and let you marry like six people? Tell me the story about how Eric and Donna had to stand up in front of the whole church and pretend to be virgins. Once upon a time, two dumbasses went to church <laughs> and brought shame upon their entire family. And their father had to hear about it the whole damn car ride home. That is a great story. It's scary, but it's funny too. Oh, I cannot believe you kids trying to sneak off with my good gin. Yeah, I should have known she can smell booze from a mile away. Excuse me? Oh, I, I said you smell like booze from a mile away. That's worse, dumbass. Why don't I throw on some music for us to, uh, shake our booties to? Hey, stop acting like an ass in front of the pretty lady. Lady Daphne touched it tentatively. And a shudder went through the dew. So, oh, you like those books too, Mr. Red? So, uh, yesterday I'm at this garage sale. I looked down, and there it was. The Darth Vader action figure with the incredibly rare green lightsaber. How have I not kicked your ass yet? The other day at the movies, you lied to me? Donna, I am the senior officer here. <laughs> So the other day at the movies, you lied to me. No, I... You know, I mean, it was the movies, you know? It's... It's all make-believe. Okay, you know what? Don't bother coming over tonight. My sexual tension has been replaced with another familiar emotion. Anger at your scrawny ass! No! Yes! Charity car wash was a great idea, girls. Let's take our shirts off. <laughs> Who changed my channel? What the... Uh... <laughs> Steven! <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? Stealing my cable. Fred, before you blow your stack, why don't you take a look at that car wash girl? <laughs> she is so sudsy. You drilled a hole in my floor. <laughs> my foot is about to drill a hole in your ass. But Red, the car wash girls have to make $500. Or their super freaky love nest can be turned into a bookstore. Now, you don't have to rub it in. Uh, I think I do, Donna. <laughs> so, uh, rub a dub dub, I'm right. <laughs> I am humiliated. The only way I'm gonna get my pride back is to kick your ass. <laughs> so, I'm challenging you to a fight. Oh, Michael, it's so perfect. See, now you got the brains and the maternal instincts, and I know how to rap ass. <laughs> we're gonna do this together, and we're gonna be fun. I took it. <laughs> Why? Uh, I forgot to go to the bathroom. <laughs> she was 
to know why. <laughs> because you're a pervert. Hey. Oh, wait, that's true. I didn't have to lie. <laughs> Because I'm a pervert. <laughs> Fez, I'm gonna kick your ass. Eddie! Tell me about the job hunt. Did my little worker bee find a happy hive? No, all the jobs are the same problem. A dumbass boss. <laughs> you know, one guy actually thought that duct tape was called duct tape. A security guard had to pull us apart. Let's celebrate. <gasps> One of Red's beers. Where's a new sheriff in town, little lady? <laughs> well, if it isn't my son, the vandal. You know, I ought to vandalize your ass with my foot. Because I've heard you fire a lot of people. And I've never heard you say, I hope there's another job out there for you. You say... I hope my foot doesn't get stuck in your ass. <laughs> or, don't let my foot get stuck in your ass on the way out the door. Or the classic, I'm gonna stick my foot in your ass. Just get out of here. Look, Mom, maybe you should stop worrying about everyone else so much and start thinking about yourself. Maybe you should find something to enrich your life. Oh, may I suggest the teachings of the Jedi? <laughs> and may I suggest the footing of your ass? This is not the ass you're looking for. <laughs> See, now you don't know what to do. Eric, I got a job for you. Go grab some cement and uh, secure that Bob statue. <laughs> okay, if that's a job, then uh, how much does that pay? It pays my foot not going in your ass. <laughs> so it's on credit then? All right, Fez, stand up so I can kick your ass. How dare you steal a girl out from under me? First of all, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Second of all, when I stole her, she was not under you, she was under moi. <laughs> How do guys play fight without getting into a real fight? Well, maybe because when they fight, Michael doesn't elbow everything like a blonde tardo. <laughs> See, now that is gonna get your ass kicked. Oh, I'm gonna punch you in your fat melon head. Hey, uh, guys, just to jump off topic here for a sec. When you're dancing to, say, like, Donna Summer, whoever, <laughs> do you ever wish that you were on wheels? Foreman, so many parts of what you just said make me want to kick your ass. Eric, you know what your problem is? I'm too good looking. Hey, uh, you guys getting in line for sticks tickets, too? <laughs> yeah, right. If we weren't late for this party, we'd kick your ass. And if you're driving home and things are a little loud, stop by the Foreman and Son muffler shop, where they're also giving away calendars. <laughs> she said Foreman on the radio. <gasps> We're going to have to change our phone number. <laughs> you know... That Donna is a great girl. I can't believe that Eric wouldn't marry her. When I get back home, I'm gonna kick him in the ass. Oh, you feel so good. This is so much better than staying home all day crying about Steven. You are a total badass. But I'm not afraid of anything. Oh my God! <laughs> hey, some jerk's wearing a Bears jersey. Let's all get together and kick his ass. Yeah! <laughs> Man, all these guys are pissed off at something, huh, Dad? <laughs> so I'm gonna go and celebrate with a giant golden green cotton candy. Yeah! And what the hell is her problem? She's ruining the football game. I'm gonna go tell her where she can stick that cotton candy. Oh, vicious, hombre! What? <laughs> I will tear that out! Look at him go. He's got the foreman rage. See, as I see it, why get out of bed when you can read about people who got out of bed? 
You have got to be the laziest non-communist I've ever met. And you are about to read a book that my foot wrote. It's called On the Road to In Your Ass. What if he stopped to take a picture and he got kidnapped by white slavers? <gasps> They're gonna kill him. He can't do anything. I told him this was a stupid idea. And now we're stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. My foot is shaking. It wants to kick his ass so bad. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Kitty, I'm begging you to stop. There's going to be hundreds of auto parts salesmen. And now that I have the muffler shop, they're going to be getting in line to kiss my butt. Well, and they will be happy to kiss it because everything from my house is spotless. Mrs. Foreman, I'm a beautiful girl with a shrill, demanding voice. I'm pretty hard to ignore. Okay, but we can't compete with a bunch of cars. Wheels are like bosoms to men. And a car has four. All right, salesman. Pucker up. Red Foreman's ass is in the building. Oh, my God! There goes the fun. Well, I hope you're happy, Red Foreman, because we are leaving. You too. Get your ASSs back to the car. You two get your B double OBs off my husband. Jackie, I'm perfectly fine. I just need to speak to Red in the car for a minute. How could you, Red Foreman? Steven stayed with Jackie, but you went off and gave my funnel cake to those whores. <laughs> I was just trying to have a little fun. Oh, yeah? Well, you can take your fun and shove it up your... <laughs> oh, look, there's Michael. Even when he's not here, I have to see his ass. I've seen it almost as many times as I've seen his face. <laughs> oh, look, someone's coming in. Man, time really flies when you take two naps a day. Well, I wouldn't say you've done nothing. I mean, you've... Wow, you really sat on your ass. We got here first, so they didn't even think about applying. Mm. I don't have to. I'm the landlord. The lord of the land. And I'm going to lord it over you while your butts land outside. Foreman, forget being a chiropractor, man. The way I see it, you're diligent, tidy, and detail-oriented. So I think you should become a professional butt wiper. <laughs> oh, man, this is serious. Eric, you got to start off slow. First, you should be an amateur butt wiper. <laughs> What's wrong with you two? So rude. Hey, like, I think you should move to Paris. That way you can become a bad YPA. Eric, you know what I'm realizing about you? You're not good at anything. <laughs> That's not true, Kel, so don't forget bad wiping. Eric, you know what you should teach? Bad wiping. <laughs> Fez, that was really inappropriate. Eric, you should teach history. The history of butt wiping. Okay, but Dad, passing P.E. is all that's standing between me and the rest of my life. You're lucky this table is standing between my foot and your ass. Daddy says I've been doing such a great job that he wants me to move to Milwaukee and help run the corporate office. Wait, what about Steven? He's the one doing the great job. You just sit around doing your nails and making smart-ass comments. Well, here's the America I know. The person who can't do anything rise at the top. Well, the guy who's working his ass off gets nothing. He's supposed to be the guy that works his ass off. Don't make this more complicated than it has to be. That's funny, Eric. I thought I told you to clean up the Vista Cruiser. But what I must have said was, go sit on your ass. <laughs> no, I was there, Red. You definitely said, go clean out the cruiser. But he just insists on being defiant. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Dad, but something really important came up. I dream of Jeannie did her blinking thing, and now Dr. Bellows thinks he's a monkey. But isn't he at your house with the guys? No. No, sweet lord, they got him. 
You know, Donna, you should be out there trying to keep Eric from going to Africa instead of sitting here on your patootie. Virgin. Man, how do you not have sex with all those girls that are always throwing themselves at you? <laughs> that doesn't happen to everyone, jackass. Where's Charlie? <laughs> Who's Charlie? Last time I saw him, he was on a stack of kegs claiming Mount Schlitz for the U.S. Oh, crap. And he was a good kid. Now who am I going to spend time with? I don't know. Me? Don't be a smart ass. You know, we always have to remember this moment. Upstairs, now! I am in huge trouble. <laughs>
that's funny because I was just making meatloaf in the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry. Hyde told me how much he likes painted toes. He told me some other things he liked, but I said, hey, I'm a stripper, not a contortionist. <laughs> well, isn't that just more than a mother wants to hear? So you're not hiring? Oh, that's a bummer. Because I got to say, if this is your idea of a staff meeting, I'd work my butt off. Stephen, <clears throat> I've come to think of you as a son, and so I want to give you some honest, heartfelt advice. Get your head out of your ass. So you know what? I am done making an ass of myself for you. Or any other guys. He threw us in jail. Fez, I don't know why you're smiling, but I promise you won't be when I sell your ass for a pack of cigarettes. First of all, this ass is worth at least a carton. Hey, baby, why don't you rip off that phony uniform and start shaking your moneymaker? Are you talking to me? That's right, Mama. First of all, I'm not your mama. And if you ever talk to me like that again, I will pull your skinny ass through these bars and find 50 new ways to use my nightstick. She's my best friend. Did you mean that, Donna? Am I really your best friend? Yeah, of course. Ha! Stuff that up your G-string and smoke it. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm Randy, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry. We tried to do something nice for our friend, and things got really out of hand, but... I apologize for any disrespect that we may have shown you. Well, Randy, I'm impressed that something so articulate could come out of such a dumbass. And this year's gonna be special. You remember Larry Simmons? Oh, the fellow who won the Bronze Star on D-Day? Yep, the bastard finally died. <laughs> Struck by lightning. The sucker could dodge a bullet, but Mother Nature got him right in the ass. Fez? I know what we need to do. Yeah, me too. But where are we going to find a dog with antlers? No, Fez, we need to write Eric a letter telling him what is going on between Donna and Randy. Yeah, then Eric is going to come home, kick Randy's ass, and then whisk Donna off to someplace sexy. Just be ready with that camera, Leo. And keep it pointed nice and low. I want a lot of close-ups of all those patriotic men kissing my ass. Look at that. Guadalcanal, 1942. I took some shrapnel, spent a month in the hospital. That's how I met Bob Hope. Oh. Bastard made me laugh, even though I had two busted ribs. <laughs> Dumbass comedian. Red has the keys. Aha! Your plan is unraveling again. We don't need the keys. I'll hotwire that son of a bitch. <laughs> What's the big deal? I'll just ask Red if I can borrow the car. Uh, while you're at it, why don't you ask Red if your ass can borrow his foot? Uh, no. I think I'll just ask for the car. <laughs> Go to hell, Fetzel! <laughs> See you there, loud ass! What is the matter with you kids? This clown means something to people. Look how upset Red is. <laughs> yes. Upset. All of you dumbass. Here's what you're gonna do. You are gonna glue poor Fatso back together, and you are gonna take him back to his burger. <laughs> right, Red? <clears throat> yes. Because if if you don't, furious, <laughs> foots and asses. Holy hell! Did you see that? I've never seen Red so angry. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Slut. Tight ass. Good for one knock-knock joke. No who's there required. <laughs> wow. Dreams can come true. <laughs> see that, Red? Kids love those. You should have made them for Eric. Yeah, I suppose I could have given him a... Get my foot out of your ass free, card. Oh, yeah, Fenton? Well, if I could do that to myself, I wouldn't be standing here arguing with you! Hot Donna here. Heading into my 12th hour on the air. Our top news story. I've raised $38 and my ass is asleep. We're worried that you two aren't communicating the way a couple should. We're sick of you screaming at each other like a couple of dumbasses. Steven? 
You have finally reached that point in your life where you're no longer a dumbass kid. <laughs> you're a dumbass man. Wow, those dumbass teen years just flew by. You put the beauty in beautiful, the sass in sassy, and what else can I say? I love a big tip. <laughs> and what else can I say? I love a big kiss ass. Come on, man, you're in this store more than I am. You giggle at everything he says. You guys are like a bad carpenter song. <laughs> We're like any carpenter song. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe I like him a little bit. But if you tell anyone, I will freaking kick your ass. Let me tell you a little story. There was a woman, a newlywed, and she told her husband, rather than waste money on gifts, save for retirement. And so he never bought her a gift. Not for Christmas, birthdays, never. And 50 years later, she thanked him. And you know who that woman was? No. That woman was the invisible dancing fairy of dumbass land. <laughs> All women want gifts. That way, if I forgot to buy you something, I'd still be covered. <laughs> you buy my gifts in bulk? <laughs> no, it's more of a vast inventory of love. about to get a vast inventory of my foot in your ass. <laughs> yeah, I can do that too. Hey, Red. Kitty told Sam the presents weren't for her. Now I'm kind of in trouble, so I got us each a bouquet of flowers for our ladies. Kitty, I got your roses. <laughs> See how it feels, dumbass? No, 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 this isn't fair. I worked my butt off for you. Thank you. Out you go. This kind of awkwardness reminds me of a time my dad brought this chick home. And in the morning, she turned out to be a guy. <laughs> Although Tony did make me a kick-ass Denver omelet. Won't say another word. Oh, now you're going to show me the muscles? I'm Randy. I've got big muscles. I'm good looking. <laughs> you're an ass. What would you think if I hypothetically possibly maybe started dating a new guy i'd say i think you can do whatever the hell you want my dumbass son broke up with you oh that's my oh crap <laughs> a macrame owl <laughs> what the hell kind of pansy ass thing is this i do macrame <laughs> it's my therapy well, I just, I don't know what she sees in Randy. He's so charming and, and friendly and always willing to lend a helping hand. What a jackass. $65 my hairdo costs more than that. It does? Where the hell are you getting... Which is beside the point, because you look lovely. And you know what else looks lovely? The view from the couch. <laughs> Which is where your cheap lying butt will be sleeping tonight. Today was a total disaster. I didn't sell one muffler and I drove a dozen customers into the hands of my competition. If I were a younger, more flexible man, I'd shove my foot up my own ass. Why is the clothes sign on the door? Oh, Red put that up. He said I could either have a closed sign on the door or an open sign on my ass. <laughs> See, Disco's giving Fez and I some of our best times together. Oh, like remember the night we beat Johnny and Melina in that dance-off? Oh, we kicked our gold lame asses! Giddy, I don't want to meet new neighbors. I had to wait 12 years for the old ones to croak. <laughs> Always wanted to talk and say hello. <laughs> Dumbasses. Measure we can make if we set up shop on Betty Grable movie night. Steven, we're not setting up shop anywhere. All I want to do is get my money back. Just like after I bought Eric that baseball mitt. <laughs> Dumbass used it as a hat. 
Stephen, we do not reward this kind of behavior, right, Red? Right. <laughs> A 13-inch TV should do the trick. Why are you even discussing this? If ever there were a time for your foot to be ankle deep in someone's bottom, it's now. Well, that worked out pretty good. You're going to the Dells. I'm getting a new TV. Yeah. And you're going to love watching that new show called Blow It Out Your Ass. Red has something he'd like to say to you. Go ahead. Bob, I'm sorry that I said your idea is stupid. And? And? <laughs> The next time you have a stupid idea, I'll just keep my mouth shut. You know what, Red? I really don't give a damn what you think. All these years I've had to put up with you cutting me down, calling me dumbass. Well, guess what? You're the dumbass. You're nothing but a cranky <laughs> who thinks his <laughs> don't stink. So you can blow it out your <laughs> ass. What? 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 You want to hit me? Go ahead, you bull. <laughs> afraid of you. In fact, I'll kick your bony ass right now. <laughs> Bob, you've got some nerve. Good for you. It's about time you stuck up for yourself and acted like a man. I'm sorry, Reddy, just slipped out. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice they got 200 brand new beachfront homes, each with a dock, but no bait shop within five miles. You can fish off your own pier? Mm -hmm. That means you don't have to get your lines tangled up with some dumbass who doesn't know what they're doing. You're the one who invited me. Pickles, meet Donna. She's your new mommy. Hi, mommy. Uh, um, I gotta go. Chick magnet my ass. And here you've got the stove and the fridge, both still under warranty. Oh, is this the kitchen? <laughs> no, it's a petting zoo. <laughs> There's the goat. Pony ride. Oh, there's the dumbass. Here, I built a whole workbench against this wall, so there's plenty of space for all your tools. Actually, I was thinking I could turn it into a yoga studio. <laughs> really? And I was thinking I could turn your ass into my foot studio. Oh, Red, how'd it go showing the house? Why don't you ask all the dumbasses that came through here? <laughs> so poorly, then. I have bad news. The people I showed the house to, they just weren't interested. <laughs> I have no idea why. It doesn't matter. The clown who does yoga made an offer. So I said, it's a deal, you downward-facing dumbass. Wow, man. It's, it's like the nicest thing any one of my dads has ever done for me. You know, just goes to show you, you sit on your ass long enough, good stuff will happen. Do you ever actually do that with your foot? <laughs> Once, on Iwo Jima. I can't talk about it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Foreman, can I light this off in your house? Sure, and then I'll light my foot off in your ass. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the last foot and ass of the decade. It's like I've been gone for so long, I almost forgot you're a hot mom. Oh. <laughs> you know what else is hot? My foot when it's in your ass. Look at that. You had one more in him. It's just, Donna, I thought about you like every day. And you know what? It turns out that, um, Red was right. I am a dumbass. <laughs> I knew you'd burn out to be down here. You guys, it's almost midnight. Mrs. Foreman is pouring the champagne. Hey, guys, last one upstairs. How's to call Red a dumbass? 